Hello and welcome back to What Remains of Edith Finch. So in the last uh, session we learned what happened theoretically to Barbara Finch who was a child actress and we're still in her room and I'm not entirely sure yet how to get out of her room. So we came in through this area here Oh wait, okay, I know how to do this. Okay, I think we've pretty much explored everything in here. So the idea is to get back in here. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. <laughs> but now we know about the music box. I did play the music box earlier. But now I know what else I can do with it. Okay. And then put it in the key. Put it in the lock. Now downstairs to the basement, which we've kind of already seen. A pool table, laundry, right, snug, tight home insulation. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Yeah, well, don't touch the table saw. Sven. This looks like a wooden model of the slide. Obviously, we're supposed to get the impression that the Finch family history hasn't been entirely happy. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Hmm. It's very dark here. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Let's go over here, just in case. Doesn't look like anything's over here except what appears to be a water heater. It's kind of dark, I can't really see. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Okay. Um, obviously... There's a generator here that was activated when we opened the door. Very dark. Would like to have a flashlight right about now. Ah, okay, lights come on. I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Hmm, I'm guessing this is perhaps a uh, a survival shelter of some kind, bomb shelter, if or a pattern in all these stories. Peanut butter, jelly, Alvin O's cereal. After six years, a lot of this stuff is probably still plenty good. The stuff in the cans, tasty beans, pea soup. Lots of cereal. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. A sink. A bathroom. A model train. Walter. A radio, which doesn't appear to be working. Walter. 1952 to 2005. So he actually survived into at least middle age. So this is a fake view. To make it look like there's a window that you can see out of. Just to make it seem like you're not actually underground. 
Which, in fact, you are. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Wow, really? That is a long time to be down here. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after have a to few do this. Days, I set it into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you'll be used to anything. Okay. You get to open the can of peaches Even a monster again. On the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. Nineteen seventy six. I didn't catch the earlier and then year. One day, everything just stopped. Two thousand five. The music is definitely different. Was, it was gone. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. No can. I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. I could not imagine being in a place like this for 30 years. Because that's just crazy. What's well, down here? Even here, there's all the books. More books. All the books. More books. More storage of food. I know it's out there somewhere. So, whatever killed Barbara. He came down here, Molly, and stayed here for thirty years while the rest of his family is living upstairs, not aware of him being down here, with the possible exception of Edie. I'm guessing when Edith Some saw Calvin. her great-grandmother come down here, she must have been coming down here to talk to Walter or give something to him. Wow. Maybe that's, this is all a mistake. That's pretty heavy. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know, I'm ready for it. So we're in a tunnel. There's where we came out. So I'm going back deeper into the tunnel. Okay, that's as far as it'll let me go. Again, just trying to be completionist about exploring everything. all of it, especially the food. Yeah, but you're 30 years out of I date. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Standing on the tracks. And thus endeth Walter. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here.
Okay. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Can, can we go back? I'm assuming I can't go back up the ladder. Go back. Well, I guess I can go back up into the garage. I oh, just had a loading screen. Yeah, okay, I can go back up into the basement area. But that's not where we need to go right now. We need to go out the same way that Walter went out. Strange. I don't believe there's a railroad on Orcas Island. I mean, why would there be? It's not that big. What happened to the cast on her hand? I mean, it, seemed, it looks pretty clear that it's not there. So we saw it at the beginning, but not it's not there now. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... The uncle under the I house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. I guess this was the place where the trash goes. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> I cannot see a thing. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. Oh? Who would the other one be? I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Walter. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. This makes no sense at all. Hmm, there's lights over there. Can't go that way. I guess I have to go this way. I don't know if I should even be riding this. Can I see the house from here? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Why would it? Oh, lights come on. That one is solar powered though. But I thought you should know about your family. Oh. Is young Edith perhaps pregnant? Yeah, that would explain what I'm looking at here. And the history you're a part of. Oh, there's the house. The moon rising in the east. So that could be... Um, I don't know which island that is. But maybe... I know Lummy Island is over in that Though direction. To be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. Anything in here? Nope. Something out there. A, some kind of marker, perhaps. I don't think there's anything out here. I'm guessing these are motion activated. So they've been here however many years charging their batteries from the sun to 
during the day. And when you look at the house, at that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Madness? Any of it seems possible. Looks like we're on the back side of the house here. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Okay, well, I'm clearly intended to go that way, so naturally I'm going to go this way. Um, Treehouse. There's the swing. Yep. Swing we saw earlier. A bicycle. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Hmm, well, one that has had a lot of people in it die. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but. but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Derpy. Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Lucy, Daisy, Charlie, Tucker, Coco. Coco, I had a cat named Coco. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Barbara Finch. Walter Finch. Edie Finch. Sven Finch, Calvin Finch, Molly Finch. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. You could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, that's the house. Going down with the ship, so to speak. And I'm guessing I'm going to be able to use this telescope here. Hmm. I cannot really see anything. I can zoom in, though. You said she dreamed about the old house every night. So there's a buoy out there. And I guess that's all I get to look at. Okay. Now it's time to... wait. Yep, time to retrace my steps. I'm guessing. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. Oh, did I come up here? Yes. Now I'm going but down here. The older here. I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Gregory Finch, 76 to 77. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Sam Finch. 50 to 83. Gus Finch, 69 to 82. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Milton Finch, Sanjay Kumar, Lewis Finch. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Who is Sanjay Kumar? Someone who came into the There's family so by marriage? I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. I'm going to guess that I must climb the ladder.
Okay, so I've climbed up here, and this looks like a good place to stop. So I will end this session here and pick it up in the next one. Thank you for watching.